Hi, my name is Johnny Nava, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Taylor GS Mini. I just picked this up a few months ago, and it's become one of my favorite guitars to play. So what I'm going to do is just play a few songs for you so you can get a feel of what it sounds like. And then at the end, I'm going to talk about some things I like about the guitar uh, so you can make a decision on whether or not it's worth looking at for you. with the pick.
Okay, so on to my actual thoughts on the Taylor. One of the things I really like about this guitar, it just has great tone. Uh, it's not something you find in a lot of travel size guitars, because I, I play a lot of travel size guitars, and they always sound uh, a bit hollow, a, a, sometimes a bit tinny, uh, where I feel like the Taylor, it's just it's smooth and, and buttery in a way that a lot of travel size guitars just aren't. A lot of normal size guitars just aren't. And so it's really just a testament to the amount of uh, the craftsmanship and the amount of work they put into making these instruments sound as good as they do. Another thing I like about the Taylor Mini is it's just comfortable to play. I'm not sure if you could tell, but I'm a pretty big person. I'm about 6'3", and I have like these really long arms and pretty big hands. Uh, and yet the Taylor is really comfortable for me to play. In fact, there are even some songs that are easier to play on the Taylor because it is a bit of a smaller scale length. And I also think that it's great for maybe if you are a smaller person uh, and maybe your hands aren't as big, uh, maybe a bigger guitar or a more normal sized guitar feels a little bit more uncomfortable for you to play. Uh, I think that's where the Taylor Mini really shines. I, I have a friend that uh, plays the baby Taylor herself and she's a pretty small person. Um, and she loves it because it's so much more comfortable to play than regular guitars. And it's something that uh, once she bought it, she was able to learn guitar a lot easier just because it was a lot more comfortable to play and a lot more easier to press down on the strings. So something worth considering uh, regardless of your size. Another advantage that the Taylor Mini has is it's just, it's so portable. You can take it anywhere that you want to take it. I'm a type of person who likes to take their guitar lots of different places. I take it to the beach with me, take it to the park, take it to my parents, I take it on planes. Um, and honestly, it doesn't matter. You take this thing carry on. It's light, so it's not a hassle trying to take it from place A to B. Um, and it's just really portable. Uh, another thing I do like about the Taylor Mini is that it's just made with really good materials. Uh, oftentimes, guitars nowadays, they're not necessarily all made with real wood. Uh, or at least the they're made with real wood, but they're really expensive. Uh, the Taylor Mini is kind of expensive for a travel guitar, but it's made of real wood. Uh, and they offer all different types of wood. I think most of them have a spruce top, um, but mine is made out of walnut. So I'm not sure how well you can see it, um, but it's made out of walnut. They have other ones that are made out of koa, uh, mahogany, and uh, there might be one other type. I'd have to get back to you on that. Uh, but yeah, it's a really beautiful instrument and really crafted really well. It also has an arched back, so it's supposed to project sound better than other guitars of its size. So something worth considering. And the last thing I wanted to cover in terms of the Taylor Mini is obviously how much does it cost? The cost. Is it worth it? In my opinion, it is. Before buying this guitar, I had wanted a travel size guitar for a long time. And so uh, I tried out a number of different ones and none of them really spoke to me. Um, but my friend had a Taylor Mini. Uh, she offered me a chance to play it. I played it like one time and I knew like I had to get one of these things. And so um, I waited a few months, eventually I did, and I have to say, I, I think it's worth every penny. It's just a great instrument. And the thing about guitars is, it's just worth shelling out the extra money like 99% of the time because you have them forever. I still have my first guitar and I started playing like 15 years ago. So paying for the quality really is worth it because you're not gonna remember the $100 you didn't spend uh, five years ago. And if you really love your guitar, it honestly won't even matter. Um, but these things I think go for about uh, maybe around $400. I think this one's a little bit more expensive, close to $650 because uh, I opted to get the electronics in it. But I have to say, it's so worth it because being able to have a tuner built in that is able to tune your guitar to any tuning at any time is just invaluable if you're planning on traveling with the travel guitar. <laughs> so I definitely recommend shelling out the extra cash for that as well. All right, well, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. Um, if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do in the future, feel free to let me know. I'll probably do them. So uh, feel free to recommend them in the comments. I'm uh, more than happy to do anything. Uh, <laughs> not anything, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyways, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good life, and I'll see you next time.